about the pursuit of 9,000 points today and uh, um, you know you have the great discus uh, things are rolling everyone everyone's checking their, their <laughs> live results to follow you all day what was it like for you to, to uh, you know to really have a chance to do something special today and, and really go after it um, it's been a great day, like a great journey in general just because I went from event to event had fun in the end I really gave it my all in the 15. I remember lap three, I really tried to accelerate a little bit, but then, yeah, I just paid the price a little bit. I, I can't say I tried, but yeah, the end score is still unbelievable. Yeah. What did you think you could do in the 15 lap? You've done nine, nine events, you're getting ready for that 15. What do you, what do you, you know, you need 437, I mm -hmm. guess, to get 9,000. Yeah. Did you feel like, hey, I think I'm going to PR today, this is going to be it, or what? Hey, I was ready. I, I know, knew exactly what uh, times I had to run, uh, the lap times and stuff first like two laps I was like a second behind I tried to accelerate but then it just I just didn't have the power in, in me anymore I tried my best but yeah still great score yeah you're number six all time now ahead mm -hmm. of some legends of the sport what does that mean to you <laughs> um it means the world to me it just shows how much potential I had and just to put something like this together it's just it's magnificent was there an event where you surprised yourself this week mm, not really maybe nah. Uh, to be honest, not really. Like my only PR was, I think, the shot put. Then I tied my PR in the pole vault, so I know exactly that I could do all that. Shot put, even in practice, I threw minimum that far or even further. For example, my second throw was way further. So I know I have still more in the tank, so it was expected, but to put that together is still really, really satisfying. Yeah. What does it mean to you be able to do this in Olympic year? Because obviously yeah. you're going to be one of the favorites now. Yeah, hey, I've been putting in a lot of work, and just that all this daily work like finally pays off. It's so satisfying, so like, um, you know, it just feels like I'm on the right path. Do you feel like you've been making good progress towards potentially getting on, on that podium? You've been at Worlds multiple mm -hmm. times and finishing in the top you know, places. Do yeah. you feel like you're very confident to get on that podium this year? Um, yeah, I mean, as I said, that was always my dream uh, to go on the podium, especially in the Olympics. I feel like last year going in as a world leader and then ending up fifth uh, gave me a couple of great lessons and I tried to learn from that as good as possible. Thought about it all the way to this season and I think I implicated those lessons really well and I'm trying to do the same thing at the Olympics. What were those lessons? Um, you know, just uh, especially on day two, I choked a little bit in the hurdles and the discus last year. And yeah, just uh, trying to stay relaxed, trying to not let the pressure go to your head. Just do your thing, just not worry about what kind of competition you're at, just performing. That's all it is. And can you just talk about the discus? You got the world best in the discus for the decathlon. I mean, talk about that, you know, getting that kind of accomplishment in this competition. Yeah, so my last three discus competitions were already great, and that's all it is about. Like, I tried to be consistent with, like, these far throws, which I were last three competitions, over 85, uh, 58, sorry. And, uh, yeah, then first throw already doing a 57, uh, 70. I was so happy with that, just, just to finally get that mark since last year at this uh, competition. I was so close already and then finally doing that is really cool. And then just the moment after the competition, all of you on the track, can you talk a little bit more about that moment? Oh, uh, the Catholics are just like a family and just everybody being together, having fun. It's just so much fun to have like these great people around me, like really, really good friends, genuine people. It's just the best feeling in the world. When you hear things like the greatest score ever after eight events, like what does that tell you about the potential that you have in this in this event going forward when you get a few more years under your belt? Yeah, I would say there's really no limit just because I just have to stay consistent, still keep putting in the work every single day. And I think there's a lot of things I can do. Is there one area you think you can still get better at? I mean, as I said, like I had just had one PR, this uh, entire decathlon. If I get a little closer to some PRs or PR in some extra events, then I think the score can go even a little bit higher. I'm sorry? Do you have any other meets you're potentially uh, looking to compete in? No, I'm so far I'm done till the Olympics. I'll just, you know, get some rest, recovery, and then keep training, you know, to the Olympics. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. What kind of confidence does a great is having a big meeting at this particular kind of day give you heading into the Olympics? Um, I would say I had a lot of confidence before just because I knew exactly what I could do. Uh, showing that I can do that just proves it to myself that I was able to do it. And yeah, I I just think that exactly, just do exactly what I did in, in the same mindset. I went into this to the Olympics and then I think it's going to be a, a great competition. Yeah. Carol, I know you had a great score today, so close to 9,000. Just how does that make you feel that you're uh, just right there? 
it feels great just because um, I knew I could do this and finally doing it too, it's just the best feeling in the world. So something you wish you would have done differently today? Um, I wouldn't say I would do anything differently. Like even the things that didn't go as well, you know, I tried to learn from it and then implicate it later, maybe at the Olympics. And yeah, so that's why I never regret anything. I always do what I think is the best in the, uh, in the moment and try to learn from it if it wasn't the right decision and that's all it is. I know yesterday you said